नमस्कार आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू द डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग प्रोग्राम ऑफ आई एम डी फॉर ट्वेंटी सेवेंथ ऑफ ऑगस्ट माई सर डॉक्टर त्रिशानो सो एज यू नो वी स्टार्ट अवर डिस्कशन विद सिग्निफिकेंट रेनफॉल रिपोर्टेड फ्रॉम द वेरियस स्टेशन ऑफ इंडिया as you can, during the last 24 hours so as you can see here over the gujarat state extremely heavy rainfall has been reported uh, for yesterday and also if you see similarly one station of chatisgarh also reported extremely heavy rainfall apart from that the very heavy rainfall has been reported from the east rajasthan then west coast of india and also east madhya pradesh and from vidarbha region and if you see the eastern india jharkhand gangetic west bengal and arunachal pradesh reported very heavy rainfall if you see the maximum rainfall has been reported from the morba hadap station around 340 mm of rainfall and if you talk about the shorastan kutch during last 24 hour tankara station received 360 mm rainfall and over chatisgarh kushmi station received 250 mm rainfall so now uh, talking about the synoptic system for today as you can see the deep depression is presently lying over the north gujarat and it is likely to continue to move towards the west southwest or direction across the shorast kutch and uh, and will reach to the shorast kutch and adjoining pakistan and arabian sea by 29th of august and uh, another low pressure area over the south uh, southwest northwest of jharkhand uh, uh, is likely to move west northwest ward direction uh, across the chatisgarh north of chatisgarh and southeast of uttar pradesh and uh, it is very likely to weaken gradually during the subsequent 24 hours and also the monsoon trough is presently lying from this deep depression over the north of gujarat through this low pressure area over the northwest of jharkhand uh, through digha up to the north bay of bengal and also one western disturbance of the cyclonic cir circulation is there over the northwest of pakistan and uh, offshore trough is presently lying for the coast of gujarat up to the coast of kerala and one cyclonic circulation is also there over the central assam and its adjoining area and one low pressure area is very likely to form over the east central and uh, adjoining north bay of bengal on 29th of august and it is very likely to move towards the uh, west northwest towards direction close to the south of odisha and north of the andhra pradesh coast during the subsequent two days and talking about the highlights as i already mentioned about the deep depression over the north of gujarat under the influence of these deep depression we are expecting extremely heavy rainfall uh, at isolated places of gujarat for today and over shorast and kutch during next 3 days with exceptionally heavy rainfall at isolated places of shorast today and also as i already mentioned low pressure area over the northwest jharkhand likely to move west northwest toward across east india and weaken gradually during next 24 hours now if we uh, talking about the warning for today that is for the 27th of august as you can see here uh this is very likely that extremely heavy rainfall may occur over the gujarat state for today and red warning has been issued for complete gujarat state and also we are expecting very heavy rainfall over the madhya maharashtra east rajasthan coastal karnataka jharkhand konkan and goa and andaman and nikobar island for today as you can see all those area has been marked by the orange color and if we move further and talk about the warning for the 28th and 29th of august you can see red warning for the gujarat shorastan kutch for the extremely heavy rainfall has been continued for 28 as well as the 29th of august and over the gujarat state 28 and 29 both the day orange alert for the very heavy rainfall has been issued apart from that you can see over the andaman and nikobar island as well as for the coastal karnataka orange alert for the very heavy rainfall has been issued for 28th of august and if you see over the northern state himalayan state jammu kashmir then himachal pradesh and punjab and also over the western india the west rajasthan yellow warning for the heavy rainfall has been issued and if you see the east india over the northeastern state as well as the bihar then jharkhand odisha and west of 
मध्य प्रदेश एंड ऑल्सो वेस्ट कोस्ट ऑफ इंडिया एक्सेप्ट द कोस्टल कर्नाटका वायर ऑरेंज वार्निंग हैज बीन इशूड फॉर ऑल अदर स्टेट येलो वार्निंग फॉर द हेवी रेनफॉल हैज बीन इशूड फॉर ट्वेंटी एथ ऑफ ऑगस्ट नाउ इफ यू मूव फर्दर एंड सी द ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ ऑफ ऑगस्ट एज आई ऑलरेडी मैंशन रेड वार्निंग फॉर द शोरास्ट कच ऑरेंज वार्निंग फॉर द वेरी हेवी रेनफॉल फॉर द गुजरात एंड ओवर द केरला एंड कोस्टल कर्नाटका ऑरेंज अलर्ट एज वेल एज फॉर द उड़ीसा ऑरेंज अलर्ट फॉर द वेरी हेवी रेनफॉल हैज बीन इशूड on 29th of august now if we talk about the warning for the 30 up to the 2nd of september you can see over the western coast the uh, warning level has been reduced and yellow warning for the heavy rainfall only has been issued on the 30th of august and if you see over the eastern coast as i already mentioned during the 29 there is a possibilities of formation of the low pressure area over the east east central and adjoining north bay of bengal under the influence of these systems we have issued a orange warning over the east coast of india like the state orissa and uh, the uh, coastal andhra pradesh as well as the chatisgarh we are expecting very heavy rainfall uh, may occur over those state during the 30th of august and if you see also over the western coast the coastal karnataka and kerala has been issued the orange warning for very heavy rainfall activity now if you move further and see the 31st similarly the orange alert has been issued for all the coastal east eastern uh, east uh, east india coastal stations like coastal states like odisha then coastal andhra pradesh and adjoining state like chatisgarh then vidarbha as well as the telangana uh, over all these states orange alert for the very heavy rainfall has been issued on 31st of august now if you see here you can see during the first of september and second of september the orange alert has been issued for the very heavy rainfall only over the coastal karnataka apart from that over the whole central india as well as the east coast of india coastal andhra pradesh yellow warning has been issued for first of september as well as the uh, heavy rainfall yellow uh, alert has been issued for the northeastern state on first of september as well as the second of september similarly on second of september yellow warning for the heavy rainfall has been issued for the central india as well as the uh, state like maharashtra as well as the east rajasthan and gujarat region and if you see over the south uh, uh, peninsular india kerala yellow warning for the heavy rainfall has been issued on second of september if you see the fisherman warning from day 1 that is for 27 up to the day 5 up to the 31st of august over all this day uh the similar kind of warning that is the squall wind speed reaching 55 to 65 gusting to 75 has been issued uh, along and off gujarat coast as well as the maharashtra coast also the warning has been issued for the squall wind speed 45 55 gusting to 65 and if you see the eastern coast the eastern coast of the eastern coast of the coastal andhra pradesh tamil nadu the squall wind speed 35 45 gusting to 55 has been issued and if you see during the uh, 30 and 31st along and off the coast of the east india you can see the squall wind speed 35 45 up to the uh, 55 gusting has been issued for 31st and uh, 30 and 31st of august so the fishermen are advised not to venture over those area during this period so that's all for today please visit our mausam website and also follow us in instagram twitter facebook and youtube thank you for watching